Bowes, agronomist with 360 Yield Center, here reporting from the cab again today. Doing a little wide drop on some knee-high corn. So I wanted to kind of give an update on what I'm seeing out here. With the uh, planting, obviously I put on about 50 pounds, banded with the planter. What, uh, what I'm seeing on a soil scan is I'm down to that four, five, six parts per million. So my gas tank is running down towards E. What I don't want to do is, is do uh, as my wife would do and run her car down literally to empty uh, until I'm out of nitrogen. So what I'm doing is I'm out here today putting on another, another 70 pounds. Once again, going in the flower pot within a few inches of the plant and banding all my fertilizer. So one of the things I want to do, put another 70 pounds on to delay my final decision. So things have changed quite a bit since, since uh, we planted. We, we went through a dry spell, now we got a rain this morning. Uh, the math changes. The math has also changed on the market, so I want to make sure that I'm swinging for the fence on a field that looks like it's got plenty of yield potential. So what I'm going to do is as the corn gets a little taller, so as it's getting to say um, waist high, chest high, uh, about two weeks from now, I'll know even more about this year and I'll know exactly whether I need 70 more pounds or whether I need 50 or 100, all based on soil testing out here, uh, the different areas, the different environments of the field. So the, the key with soil testing is to understand where you're at and make a more informed decision. I planned on putting 190 pounds on this field back in December. Is that really going to be the number? Well, I'll know more the 20th of June than I did December 31st on that. So as we go through the year, um, delay actions, delay decisions until you have as much information because you'll make a more informed decision and less of an armchair quarterback where you, you say, gosh, you know, my hindsight was 2020, I should have done this. Let's try to make the best decisions I can. So with that, running wide drop uh, on the 4930 today, 80 foot system. I moved my sonars down, so I'm, I'm down between the rows. My uh, orange buckets out there that you can see in the background act as shrouds until I come up with a better, or 360 comes up with a better shroud. That's what I did as a farmer engineer type. Um, came up with what I could use in order to make things happen. So with that, I will talk to you later and be safe out there.